inside me in the commentary box for this one. Two-time Olympian. Oh, hang on. As they're on the attack, and they've scored already. Matler has opened the scoring. Down the right-hand side, Lurink leads. Still going, Dirksen van den Herbel slips it off to Velton. Velton on the reverse stick. Velton makes it two. Van Marla. Van Marla on the reverse stick. Still going, Van Marla gets it strong. Van Marla makes it three. Van den Herbel, Dirksen van den Herbel into the circle. Still going, the Dutch skipper gets it strong now. Fires it back in. It's touched in by... Matla once again, and it's 4-0. The Vard in front of her, she's all unmarked, so is Van Marla. There's Clark queuing up in the middle, Dirks Van and Herbel tops it, back into the middle it goes, the Vard shoots, rebounds put in on the far post by Kelly Yonka. Over on this right-hand side in plenty of space is Lurink, here is Lurink, Lurink with the slam, oh, what a finish! Pulls it back, and Lillian gets it back again. Far the cross, and there is Van Marla. That is a wonderfully worked goal down the left-hand side. Final hooter sounds, Alison Annan and her team are off to a winning start. Smiles all round on the Dutch bench. A thoroughly professional performance. Goes to Van Marsaka, Van Marsaka with a drag flick, and it's in. I think the keeper might have got a stick to it. I think Van Marsaka may have been looking for Margot van Geffen, the player just on the penalty spot. Marsaka fires it in, deflection, what a goal, Jonka makes it 2-0. I mean, it's a simple crash ball in there, isn't it, by Van Marsaka? On the reverse stick, bouncing around. She needs to get there quickly, does. Yeah, it's still there, open goal. Back stick, was it, Luring? Have a look at that, as Dirks of Anand Herbal brings it forward. And here's the chance, they're one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Velton's all up, Mark scores, 4-0. Dirksen van den Herbel. Dirksen van den Herbel runs unimposed into the circle. Still going, no tackle. What a fine goal, leader by Veltens. But how much space do you want to give Dirksen van den Herbel? Four, three or four Chinese defenders went to the Hoda. She managed to get the ball out wide. Ball straight down the, the right-hand side to Dirksen van den Herbel. Actually comes off the Chinese. This is going wide. Matla uses her strength. She's got Dirksen. There's two of them in front of them. Dirksen van den Herbel, and it's a seventh. Crowd countdown, high fives all round. Stan throws the aerial. There is the final hooter, and the Dutch make it two wins out of two. It's another seven goals. And that angle, stolen back now, and a good run into the circle by De Gerda. It's gone in. Well, at the back post, and applause from Alison Anna. Who comes in, it goes to Van Marseca. She went high, she went to the left, and it went into the goal. The Netherlands have a second, there was nothing Chirico could do. What a bit of play it was before that from Kitty Van Marle. Across the face of goal, and in it goes. Kelly Jonker gets a goal. Van der Nassen. They use Van der Nassen. It's deflected, a great deflection. Margot van Heffen, ideally placed, just lifting it past Chirico. Ketels picks up now on the flank, plays a good pass forward. Luring in she goes, lays it across in front of goal. It is going to be another goal, and it is 5-1 now. Finally ready, cutting it a little bit fine in the 40 seconds. Comes to Van Marseca, looks for a deflection. It will come out and into the goal it goes. And Dirks van den Herbel does get that goal she was looking for on her 200th appearance for the Netherlands. It really is a party that they're all joining in. Well, they try a different routine. De Gerda slaps it low. Chirico saves the rebound. Gets hammered <laughs> in by Kitty Van Marla. What a finish that is. Now for the Netherlands in this match. And the Nassim comes to Stam. Stam will drive it towards goal, it's missed the first time, driven home the second time by Matt, the goal has been given. They are really enjoying themselves here in London. Lovely turn from Matt, releases to the top of the D, and there is another goal for them. Dirks van den Hervel gets her second of the match. Space at the top and backhand, and a good save to finish. Stam now towards Chirico, Van Marla over the top, <laughs> that is class to complete your hat-trick.
So just soften your hands enough, pulled out of the left hip. She's jumped at it, she's looped it over to Nico. And the Netherlands straight away on an attack, and it's gonna go in. Kelly Yonka has managed to get it deflected past Chirico. Plays it into the path of Van Heffen. It went too far ahead of her. Yonka will pick up. Laid into the path of Kekels. Kekels lays it there, and Van Marle gets a four. N Netherlands get a 12th goal. They continue their unbeaten run. Lurie, Devard, looking again for Belton. Through the legs of Hinch. It had been coming. And the Dutch open the scoring and lead by Belton, probably the brightest spark on the pitch, gets the goal that her performance so far has deserved. Netherlands 1, England 0. That's a loose pass from Ansley to lead by Belton. Matler to her right hand side. Here is Matler back again to the other side. It's another brilliant goal from the Dutch. And Ansley with the loose pass. And it's been put in by Lorian Luring. That is how to unlock a defence. That is beautiful play from the Dutch. The final hooter has sounded. And the Dutch are through to the semi finals to take on Australia on Saturday. In the second semi-final, Ireland having been victorious over Spain in their semi-final match. Goal, what a goal. Well, it's just a wonderful strike. The ball laid back, and who's there but Kelly Yonker. Those are meet and greet to her. And finally, Alison Allen smiles. We are headed into another shootout. Would you believe it? Eight seconds in which to beat Lynch from the 22-metre line. Matler goes off to the left-hand side, goes on the reverse and fires it home. Guarded by many is the best in the world at the moment to face Rachel Lynch. Velton almost lost control of it, goes off to the right-hand side, pushes it under. The Netherlands are in the final. Rachel Lynch is beaten. The Dutch players run to engulf Lidovai Velton. They did it the hard way, but their fans can breathe a sigh of relief. They are through to the final in 2018. Luring driving that baseline, pulls it back. Veltens with a snapshot. It's gone into the near post. Or did Kekels get a touch in front of the keeper? Either way, the Netherlands are in front. But Ferran is beaten, and Ireland just couldn't clear the danger. Perfectly timed tackle. And then gives the ball away. To Fenix, Fenix with her head up and pick the pass if she can. Fenix still going, pulls it back and clear to the top of the circle. Here's a chance on the reverse stick, good save, it's still there. Shot comes in with a second goal for the Netherlands from Kelly Yonka. It goes into Van der Nassen. Van der Nassen picks up, run down uh, by a bad, a pulling by Van Marla. Kitty Van Marla makes it 3 0. From the penalty corner, goal number eight from her. I think the Irish are trying to do what they've done all, all tournament. Here's a chance for Fenix. Fenix winds it up. That is some finish from Malu Fenix. She doesn't score many goals, does the Stab. Into the into the circle, here's a chance to lead it by Belton, lead it by Belton, through, across into the centre, and it's been rolled in by uh, Marlis Cates. And Cates makes it at 5 0. And those two castles. Goes to Van Marsacker, Van Marsacker puts it into the top corner. And it is 6 0, her third penalty corner of the. World Cup, there is the final hooter, and Alison Annan and the Netherlands are the World Cup winners once again. They successfully defend their title that they won in The Hague four years ago. A brilliant performance by them, and the World Cup winners for 2018. Uh, the Netherlands, a brilliant performance, an eighth World Cup title for the Aranya Hockey, a brilliant performance.